our last day in Israel, really. Yep. The, tonight we're leaving like at 11 from the airport to come back to the United States. So we're headed on to breakfast and about ready to start our final day. Uh, I got up early and time lapsed the sunrise, so that was, that was really pretty. It was a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Uh, but we're ready to get this day locked and loaded. Infinite vlogs, infinite vlogs. Ooh. All right, we're here for our last day and we're at the Jerusalem Museum. So we're gonna see a bunch of cool stuff here. The first thing I think we're gonna look at is a giant scale model of the old city, except in the first century time. So that's gonna be co cool to look at to put in perspective like everything we've been seeing. Right there's the Temple Mount. So that's where, what would have been back then is built. Now, where we went to see. That's an... I don't know, there's something about models that I just find really cool. Though I'm sure that would have been a pain to build. <laughs> All those little details. So down here is the city of David where we got to see and walk around. And that would have been near where Hezekiah's tunnel was. Up there, as I said, was the Temple Mount. And then if you see all the way over here, that's David's Tower, which we saw and we walked around in uh, in Old City of Jerusalem when we did shopping. And so then like the Holy Sepulchre would be over there behind the wall somewhere, somewhere around there, which is that big church where they think could have been uh, Jesus' crucifixion site as well as things like Herod's Palace, which are these orange roofs over here. And our guy was just telling us that like this lower section down here is the entire like poor section of the city. And then that would have been up there, the more rich section, as you can see, they have like different colored roofs and stuff. But it's a really detailed model and it's, it's cool to see it like this because this, is, this isn't in Jesus's time specifically, it's in first century. So it's in, it's in more close to where in uh, AD 66 when the city was destroyed. It, so, now we're gonna move on. We went to Qumran and we saw where they discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls. This is the lid of a giant clay jar that's the building of like where they keep a bunch of the Dead Sea Scrolls. So we're gonna get to go in there and look at it. I do not believe I'm allowed to film or take pictures in there. So, he, yeah, <laughs> I probably won't take any chances. So, here we are at the Shrine of the Book. We're gonna head in. I'll see what the rules say about filming. Okay. <laughs> I want like actual English. Tell me what I'm supposed to not do. Don't just show me pictures. We found the Big Apple here, and we're heading into the museum, so there should be a lot of really cool antiquities and a really cool artifacts in here for us to see. And I think I am allowed to... Oh, I don't know if I have the photograph in here. It says, like, a no, no cell phone sign over there. So, uh, I don't know. We shall see. Wow, so these are a bunch of, like, sarcophagi. Sarcophaguses. Those all look really interesting. So this area is like what what would it be an altar, and uh, it is altar. They say it's probably from the Judahite sanctuary, uh, but it was used to sacrifice animals on in the temple worship, and it was from about mm, they say eighth century BCE. So it's pretty cool. It's made out of sandstone, so it's surprising that it lasted that long. Now that's creepy. Oh look, it's the tree of a life goddess. It's ancient. Apparently a special display. Hmm. All kinds of interesting things. Ooh, look at that. It's a giant spear. And a camera. <laughs> and that's a giant mortar and pestle. Oh, smash, smash, smash. Oh, oh look, really Aaron. It's a historical <laughs> rock. Ah. Uh. Well, interesting. All these different little rocks and such. Used for different things whether it could be spheres or medical tools or other things. They have a ton of ancient things in here that aren't necessarily biblical things, but still cool nonetheless. Ooh, look at all these rocks. 
Crack, 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 crack. Giant horns. Oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. Step back, step back, Peggy. So Cameron just stepped over the line and set the alarm off. <laughs> we've been we've been in this room like ten seconds. <laughs> oh, this is great. So this is like the cave of treasure, and our guide said that a lot of this stuff came from the Getty area and this stuff, and it just shows like a lot of you know the artifacts and things they had. They had like a lot of precision. Like this stuff is not easy to make but they were still able to make all these things so it's crazy do not cross this lens whatever you do that's the old oh. Sarah. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's the old A now you can't help it with them I hope a guard pays you <laughs> Ah, uh, that's what Cameron set off. That sensor. They're all findings from burial caves. And they're what's called ashwares, where they put things and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> Very cool, though. Ancient, and the detail and some of the stuff in here is just really interesting. And the patterns they could put on these things. The mother of twins. Wow, it's the mother of twins. That doesn't look like my mom. I see there's a ones. You know what that is? It's a figurine of a fertility goddess. Yeah, the mother of twins. She's fertile. Oh, these are all the gods of Canaan. That's interesting. Moo cows, moo cows, moo cows, moo cows, moo cows. Oh, now this is awesome. Some of the weapons of war from this period. That's interesting. Are these like, oh wow, those are arrowheads. They look more like feathers than the arrowheads that like we know or we think of with Indians. Look, it's jewelry. How lovely. They had earrings, amulets, decorative buttons. What is that? Finger rings, ah yes, as opposed to uh, toe rings, and stomach rings, and head rings. And Hand rings. Oh wait, those are called bracelets. Oh wow. They have, is this all cuneiform? Yeah. No, they spoke Canaanite. And then they had this other language, Akkadian. Wow, that's really cool. It looks cool too. All the different marks on it. An inscription on here, an Aramaic, Aramaic inscription that talks about King David, which is really interesting. So, the rest of the stuff we're going to see in here is going to be uh, Israel stuff, not ancient things before Israel. <laughs> Look, they're little cymbals, flutes, and rattles. Is that a conch trumpet? He's hitting that folks real, real, real hard. In the All back. hail the conch. Do you see it? All hail the magic conch. Which part? The guy dancer says dancer is that he's aggressively hitting the folks. Pots and pans, pots and pans, pots and pans. Whoa, this is stuff from all the Phoenicians. Some of this stuff is really cool. Whoa. Look at that detail though. It's extremely cool. <gasps> Kitties. So this giant thing here, which is a replica, was actually something that we had learned about in class, like at school, which is talks about talks about the Battle of Lachish and Sennacherib is saying how he he didn't capture Jerusalem but he made it like a bird in a cage. And uh this is the little thing that he recounts all that on, which I've seen pictures of in class, but that's 
really cool to see uh, sort of Hellenistic imagination in the Greek West. Oh, the God of Greek. It's obviously the replicas of it. This is like a recreation of what we saw at Bet Shean, which, if you haven't seen that video, you absolutely should go watch it too, because that place is really cool. But yeah, they would go heat hot air through there and some water so that it would keep it heated. So, pretty cool technology for way back then. We found a statue of Voldemort. Our tour guide was saying this is made out of basalt and this would be referred to as like the seat of Moses here. So it would be like whoever is going to teach the law or the Torah from there, they would sit in the seat and they would teach people from it. So that's pretty interesting. So this, this little inscription down here says that this is the oldest fragment of the New Testament text. The oldest known copy and that it's Revelation uh, 1 verse 8 where it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. So it's pretty cool that they have that in here. And then they also have down here the Nicene Creed, which is very interesting as well. Hey Sierra. Hey. We found our way into the art side of this. This is really weird. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so odd. We have emerged from the museum, finally. So, I don't know, I think we're going to another location, Mount of Olives or something like that, next. And we're going to eat before that EA lunch, so food is great. Oh. This day is just going away, what time is it? Oh. Yeah, I'm considering skipping dinner because the Ooh. airport's 